were elevated happiness, mania, to outright aggression. And those symptoms were a problem for myself as well as for family. And the future did not look really good. He was um, an honor student, very, very popular. And then when he um, was about 16, we found out he was using drugs and his behavior started to unravel. Medical science is constantly giving us major breakthroughs in the treatment of physical diseases, but many mental disorders still baffle even the most advanced doctors and therapists. The traditional approach to treatment is to attempt to stabilize the patient using medications, then release them as soon as possible with very little or even no follow-up regarding learning the skills necessary to successfully live with a mental illness. There is another way that offers new hope. I'm wondering what things we have to talk about today, what's going well. Pioneers and game changers in the treatment of mental disorders utilize a unique approach, one that incorporates the therapeutic community model of treatment. At Hombla Chia Treatment Centers in San Diego and Seattle, the goal goes far beyond simply stabilizing a patient. This innovative, one-of-a-kind program has helped to rehabilitate a mentally ill population that many people don't believe can be rehabilitated. How did it go this weekend? You guys saw Tatiana for the first time since she's been here. What'd you notice? For many parents who feel they are out of options in dealing with a mentally ill child or individual, the Han Blachia program offers positive alternatives and hope that they never knew existed. One of the ways that we're different from traditional models is that we focus on long term, focus on helping people lay a foundation for a living that they begin using immediately while in treatment, but one that's going to last them for the rest of their lives. The word Han Blachia is from the Sioux Indian language and means quest for vision. It is inspired by an ancient Native American ritual where one undertakes a vision quest to seek direction and clarity in their life and the future. The founder of the Han Blachia Treatment Center, Dr. Moira Fitzpatrick, experienced this ritual and quickly was inspired. She suffered from schizophrenia as a young adult and was fortunate to be able to recover and devote her life to the field of psychology. Her vision compelled her to help others who had suffered from the mental disease she had suffered from, but with an entirely new approach and treatment goals. Originally, Han Blachia focused on the treatment of schizophrenia, but has evolved into the treatment of other mental illnesses, including bipolar disorder, severe depression, anxiety, OCD, and dual diagnoses. There are three types of patients, or three types of attitudes of patients when they come in here. One is, is they have both feet in the Hamlet Chia. They want to come in here and they want to work the program. Some come in here with one foot in, one foot out, where they kind of want to work the program, but they kind of don't want that structure. And the other kind of patient that comes in here are almost forced either legally or by parents to come in here to get treatment, so they have no feet in the program. One of the essential elements in recovering from a severe mental illness is the involvement of the family. The family's role cannot be overestimated. Numerous studies and almost three decades of clinical experience points directly to a significant increase in the successful recovery of patients whose families remained involved and supportive throughout the treatment process. One main focus of family participation in treatment is supporting the family in learning how to communicate more effectively with one another, not just in terms of managing the symptoms of the illness, but also to develop a more mature, healthy adult relationship with one another. The family, we consider the expert. They know their loved one the best. Um, they're, they have the most expertise in terms of how has the family been functioning, what works well, what doesn't work well what's been helpful, not helpful. So we bring all of that to bear in terms of designing and implementing treatment. Because our son had been homeless previously, he realized that um, it was important for him to follow directions because Hamblachia was very, very clear on what their expectations were. And um, I could see improvement. Other essential elements in the recovery process are the commitment to lifestyle changes and a focus on individual responsibility and accountability. It is not enough simply to stabilize the symptoms.
teaching how patients can recognize and manage them is extremely important, not only to ongoing stability, but also to prevent relapses in the illness. Recovery and rehabilitation requires building the confidence and self-esteem necessary to sustain the recovery beyond the walls of the treatment center. I haven't seen my family yet. Intensive psychotherapy, job skills training, social and life skills support, as well as a heartfelt connection to their peers and community, help the individual confront and overcome the psychological aspects of the disease. What type of volunteer opportunities um, are there around here for someone? There are quite a lot of opportunities. There's it was very difficult to accept a lifestyle change because the lifestyle that I had before I came into treatment was one I was very comfortable with and had become quite adjusted to. And that was you know, self-medicating to get rid of my symptoms. And that being the only solution I felt was you know, natural. But then I came into Hamachia and was told, now you have to get rid of all of that and do something else completely. I was not very happy with that. Throughout treatment, patients live in private residences close by affiliated with the program. Program staff are available for consultation and guidance. This is an essential part of the therapeutic community model as it allows patients to learn how to manage their symptoms in an independent setting, which can then be transferred to other independent living settings once the client leaves treatment. The community culture at Hamblachia is based on love, integrity, responsibility, and a belief that recovery is possible. It is one of caring, sharing, and togetherness that help individuals transform and learn to self-manage their symptoms so that they can live healthy, productive lives. When you see people in the program succeed and they move forward, it's an amazing feeling. It's wonderful to see people go from point A to point Z, and it's amazing to see them actually start to function socially and occupationally. For parents and families of individuals suffering from a severe mental illness, the spirit and empowerment of these community resources provide a brighter outlook. One thing that I respect about Hamblachia is that um, they followed through. At first that made me very, very angry. Oh, come on, he was only five minutes late calling in his meds, you know. I don't think that's very nice that you're so mean. And um, they were real clear that when they said nine, they meant nine. In our society, there is a stigma associated with mental illness, and too many people see a mentally ill individual as a diagnosis and not a person. Fortunately, facilities like Han Blachia believe that those with severe mental illnesses can recover and live an independent life. And every day, their unique approach to treatment is proving that you can rehabilitate a population that many think cannot be rehabilitated. There is a light shining on the darkness of mental illness, and for the families and patients in treatment at Han Blachia, this light symbolizes hope. For more information about the Hanblachia Treatment Center, go to www.hanblachia.com or call 877-492-5215.